Hey, what is good? What is good? What is good, beautiful people? Of course, you know who I be. Good Doc, Dr. Mike TV back again once again with an interesting topic of conversation today. I actually think that I'm going to take pleasure in delivering this particular topic to the audience today. First time to the show. audience today first time to the channel guys like subscribe notify do the things that you need to do to become well versed in the good docs content and for all of my extracurricular activities outside of youtube links in the description area below patreon ebooks all of the above listed below now i very rarely answer and or respond to questions or comments in reference to video form I might have done this maybe once or twice in the past. Let me turn my stuff off. <laughs> I may have done this once or twice in the past, but very rarely do you hear me come out and actually address something. But today it's a little different. So first things first, I want to give big love to uh, William Gonzalez. William Gonzalez posted a comment in one of my more entertaining videos which were why black people and filipino people get along so well and he said specifically philippines should be in africa and not asia and he posed the question does anybody agree now when he posed that question i said yo this is definitely something that we can rally around and actually have a debate about now first things first Filipinos, don't take this as a sign of disrespect. I know you're one of one. I know you guys are a unique group of individuals. You, as a collective, y'all create your own unique style and ways. But as I was thinking about what he said, something popped into my mind. And I want to shout out one other person. Shout out to my man, Benny, a.k.a. J.D. Orca. Because when me and J.D. were in um, Manila... And we were on our way to uh, Bonifacio Global City where I made the infamous punchline of this is a facade and people lost their shit. <laughs> In the car right there, shout out to my man BGC Mike too. Much love to you, brother. Hope you're doing well. Um, on the way there, me and him were having a topic of conversation in the back of the grab. And he says, you know, looking at the Philippines, and I swear I pray he comes to the comment section and he really uh you know confirms this for you guys but in the back of the uh grab when we were on our way to bgc he says man you know being in the philippines he says yo there are many parts of the philippines that remind him of africa because he's been in africa he's probably been in many different parts of africa and he says when i look at the philippines there are many different aspects about the country about the landscape the way it's made up the ruralness the diversification the um the landscape in reference to infrastructure and things like that. He's like, yo, there's a lot of it that reminded him of his time in Africa. And that stuck with me. And when you pose the question of, you know, does the Philippines, I mean, does the Philippines really belong in Asia or is it more or less part of Africa? You know, we could talk about it from the race standpoint of, you know, the earlier tribes and, you know, the Aedas and individuals like that. But in general, when you have that topic of conversation and we realize about how much the similarities that the Filipino people have with black people in general, it does pose the question. It could definitely seem to fit more or less as part of Africa than actually in Asia. Because when you think about it, comparing it to China, comparing it to Vietnam, comparing it to Thailand, comparing it to um, Cambodia and other places that represent Asia, more specifically even Southeast Asia, I'm not saying that it doesn't fit. <laughs> I'm just saying that it kind of seems like it will probably fit more so in with some of the areas in Africa more than it does in its comparison to um, any part of Asia. And although I don't condone this statement at all, I don't condone it. I don't know how to respond to it, but I don't condone it. But there is this African-American lady by the name of Issa Rae. Don't care for her politics, don't care much about her at all. But she said something that was funny too. And you guys may remember her saying this, maybe you don't. But she said that Filipino people are the black people of Asia. I think, something like that. And I'm gonna try to find a way to put it on the screen somewhere so that you guys can see the quote. Hopefully I get it right. Maybe I get it wrong, who cares? It's my video, shit, deal with it. 
But when she said that, I was like, well, I can see that too. <laughs> because <laughs> when you think about it out loud, ladies and gentlemen, Filipino people seem to relate more so with African Americans and African people than they probably do with people of Asia. Now, there has always been a topic of conversation and debate about, well, are Filipinos Asian or are Filipinos Pacific Islander? I mean, that's the topic of conversation that you can have, too. So it's kind of like Filipino people, in my personal opinion, they are very adaptable to damn near any culture, any cultural background you could come across. You can fit them in with Africans, African-Americans. You can fit them in with the Asians, Asian folk. You can fit them in with Pacific Islanders and things like that. So they kind of seem to just fit in, get in where they fit in. And I also made a statement before. And I'll say this one more time because we're having revelations as I'm making this video. So please forgive me. I know that I said this in a live stream. I said Filipino people are probably on at least every continent in the world. If not every specific city <laughs> in the world, you'll probably find at least one Filipino person. And I was saying that, and I can't remember what the topic of conversation was that made me even bring that up. But I was saying that from the standpoint of, yo, Filipinos are scattered across the world. They're in every continent for sure probably in every major city for sure probably i don't know even minor city in the united states you'll find at least one filipino there's plenty of them in fayetteville north carolina ladies and gentlemen so that goes to show you but you'll find them everywhere they're adaptable anywhere canada my young lady's uh father was uh in canada he was an ofw in canada god rest his soul um filipinos are everywhere so it's almost as if it's not shocking and or surprising that Filipinos can fit amongst any diverse group of individuals on planet Earth. But to get back to the question where my man was saying that the Philippines seems to fit more with Africa than it does with, with Asia, I do to an extent agree with that statement. And the reason why I agree with it has nothing to really do with skin complexion, color, or anything like that, or race. It's just when you think about it out loud, if you think about how much they compare to... African-Americans or African or black people in general. I made this I made this uh, connection probably in other videos before. But when you think about how much they actually connect with members from different communities in the African-American community, black community, period. It's like they seem to fit a little bit better with them than they do with the with, with Asian culture, if that makes sense. I mean, shit, be honest with me. Answer me this question. Answer me this question, literally. Answer me this question, because Doc's gonna try to get Phila effing philosophical on that ass right now. Outside of eating rice with damn near every meal, what do Filipinos have in common with Asian folk? And I'm not saying that to be racist, I'm not saying that to be anything, I'm just saying though, in Japan and China and most of the Asian places I've been to, rice is damn near served with every meal, legit. So outside of eating rice with every meal, tell me what do Filipinos have in common with all other Asian people? or all other Asian races, cultural, ethnic backgrounds, Chinese, Japanese, like I said, Cambodian, Thai, uh, Vietnamese. Tell me what they have in common with them people outside of that. I'm pretty sure you're gonna go to the comment session and list a whole bunch of shit. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, there's very little outside of eating rice every day <laughs> with every meal that they really have a comparison to other people in Asia. But look about, look about African or African-American people. I made the video about it. Fuck it. They love fried chicken. No different than we do. Do you think, do you see the way they have their tribal festivals? Have you ever been to Arao Nung Dabao or any of these festivals that they have and they do their little tribal dance and shit? Does that not remind you of some places or some entities and some, you know, cultural tribal backgrounds in Africa that have their own set of tribal dances and things like that? Does that not compare? I haven't seen that in China. I haven't seen that in Thailand. Maybe they do. I mean, I'm just saying I haven't seen this. I haven't seen this with Japan. I haven't seen this with things like that or places like that. So now you're starting to see why I would really culturally shift the Philippine culture overall, exclusion of rice, <laughs> to that of African culture, African-American culture. Well, I, don't, I keep saying African, African-American, but we'll just say African, African culture. You see how the transition can come. And because my man William Gonzalez decided to pose a hell of a question, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave that up for debate for you guys. All right. Comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think that the Philippine people relate more so to African, African culture than they do to Asian culture? Do you believe they relate more to Asian culture? They find where the hell they at. They should stay right where the hell they are. And this is where they belong. All right. And I'm not saying as if you can literally take a whole 
<laughs> country of people and move it. I'm not saying that you could do that. I'm just saying, though, thinking about it out loud in comparison to, you know, commonalities and things like that and how they're different. Could you not see them relating more so to African culture than that of traditional Asian culture? All right. Just saying that out loud. And the fact that Issa Rae said that Filipino people are like the black people of Asia. I can't lie, man. I did chuckle when she said that shit, though, because I was like, yeah, I can kind of see that. Although I don't like anything else about her. <laughs> but when she said that, I was like, yeah, I can kind of see that. <laughs> Anyways. You guys stay blessed, man. You guys be easy. It's been the good Doc, Dr. Mike TV. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, feel free to share, comment, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I appreciate that. Good Doc officially out. At least in the alone, which means I just got to get to get him. With that being said, the good Doc is officially out. At least in the alone, which means I am going now. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Mahokita. Mabuhai. Peace.